Hi, grade four. Today is Monday, April the 26th. And for your math today, we are working on questions one, two, and three. Okay. Now, for question one, they're asking us to multiply or divide our measuring units. So I'm going to give you a chart that will help you do these questions. Okay. So let's look at A. So question A is 2 liters, 450 ml, multiplied by 2. Now 2 liters translates to 2,000. 1 liter equals 1,000. 2 liters equals 2,000. 3 liters equal 3,000. So how are we going to do it? So we are going to multiply 2,450. We're going to multiply it to 2. Okay, so go ahead and do this one and or grades four, you can do this. So we have two liters and four 50 ml and we need to multiply it to two. Okay, so we can go straight to two times two gives us four. So how many liters do we have? Four. Now let's go and get our ml. So two times zero gives me zero. I'm gonna write my zero. Two times five gives me 10. I can only write one number because watch this. When I have 10, I cannot write 10 like this. That'd be wrong. So I would carry over my one to my four. 2 times 4 gives me 8 plus 1 and 9. So what's my answer? 4 liters and 900 milliliters. Okay, this is one way or you can stack up your numbers. Okay, so you could have done it this way. 2,450 times 2. And we would get the same answer. It would be 4 liters and 900 milliliters. Now let's go ahead and let's do look at question B. Question B says 2 meters and 365 centimeters times 3. Right? So we can stat now 1 meter equals 100 centimeter. 2 meter equals 200 centimeters. 3 meters would equal 300 centimeters. So we have 2 meters, which means how many centimeters do we have? We have 200 centimeters and we have 65 more centimeters. So what are we going to do? We are going to stack up our numbers 265 times 3. Okay, once you're done that, the number that's going to show up in our hundreds column would be our meters column, right? Because meters are in hundreds, just like liters were in thousands, milliliters were in hundreds. So meters are in hundreds and centimeters would be smaller than or less than hundred. Does that make sense? So that would be, so whatever shows up in your hundreds column, for example, we were to do three times two gives me six, but I cannot write six because I first need to remember to multiply my three to my ones. So three times five would give me 15. I would carry my one over. Three times six would give me 18 plus one, 19. I would carry my one over. Three times two gives me six plus one, seven. So how many meters do I have? Seven meters and 95 centimeters. That's how we are going to do these questions. Let's move on and let's look at C. Question C is six kilometers and 250 meters and we need to multiply them to five. Again, one kilometer equals 1000 meter. Okay, so what are we going to do? We are going to, so 1,000 meter, that means 2 kilometers equals 2,000, 3, 3,000, 
four, four thousand, five, five thousand, six, six thousand kilometers. So we have six thousand and fifty times five. And again, our number, which would show up in the thousands column, would be our kilometers, and the hundreds number would be our meters. Does that make sense? Because look, meters come in hundreds. Kilometers are going to be in thousands. Does that make sense? Okay, now let's go on and let's look at, and grade four again, if you think I'm moving too fast, always pause the video and before you move on to the next question. And again, when you are doing your questions, do them first, and then you can go and check your answer key. Okay, let's go ahead and look at question D. Now question D is 3 kg and 300 grams. 1 kg equals 1,000. 2 kg equals, uh, sorry, 1 kg equals 100 grams. 2 kg equal, no, wrong. 1 kg equals 1,000 grams, 2 kg equals 2,000 grams, 3 kg equals 3,000 grams, okay? And then we have, so we have 3 kg, which means how many grams do we have all together? We have 3,000, right? So we are going to do 3,000 and 300 because there's 3,000, 3 kg, which means 3,000 grams and 300 grams. We need to divide them to three, okay? So we go ahead, we have 3,300. We need to divide this to three. Again, our number, which is going to show up in the thousands or whichever number is the first number that's gonna show up here, that will be our kg. And then our hundreds number would show up in our grams column. So thousands will be in our kg and grams will be in our hundreds. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's look at question E. Question E says we have five hours and 30 minutes and we need to divide it to three. Now let's divide up our hours first. Okay, so we have five hours and let's divide it to three. How many threes can go into five? Only one. When we take away one, so three times one gives us three, we are left with two here. How many hours do we have? We have one hour, right? So far we know we have one hour. What are the remaining hours? Two hours are remaining. So two hours, what would that give us? And we still have 30 minutes to work with. So one hour, so two hours are made up of what? Two hours are made up of 60 plus 60, right? That's what two hours are made up of. And we have plus 30 hours more to add to it. Right? So, because I brought this 30 all the way down here. Because we had two hours remain there. Two hours equal remainder. Right? So I broke my two hours down to 60 and 60. And then I brought my 30 down. Now I am left with what? 60 and 60 gives me 120. And 120 plus 30 gives me 150. So I can go ahead, I know that my answer will be one hour, right? And how many minutes? So I combined my minutes and I'm gonna divide it to 50. So 150 divided by three, that will give me my minutes, right? So let's go ahead and let's do it. Now, grades four, because this question is a little bit trickier, that's why I am going ahead and we're gonna do it together all the way to the end, okay? So three times five gives me 15. I am left with nothing. Now I'm going to still bring the zero down, but because I can't do anything with it, 
anytime we bring a number down and we can't do anything with it, we put a zero at the top, right? Now, how many minutes do I have? I have 50 minutes. So my answer is one hour and 50 minutes. Okay? Now let's go ahead and let's look at our next question, which is question E. Again, grades four. If you at any point, you can reverse the video, you can go back and watch it again. Or if you are confused or unsure, just send me a message on Remind, okay? Let's go ahead and let's do question F. Question F is, we have one liter and 600 milliliter and we are going to divide it to four. At the top, we are multiplying. Now we are dividing. If I have one liter, how many milliliters do I have? I have thousand, right? So what do I need to do? 1,600 divided by four. Okay, now go ahead and again, your number that shows up, the first number that will show up in our thousands, in our hundreds column, well, over here in division, we don't have columns, but the first number that's going to show up, uh, that will be, well, you'll only get your milliliters, okay? We don't have, we won't have any, any liters left. We will only have milliliters. So we don't need to worry about this. I didn't see that coming, okay? So we will only have milliliters. Now let's go ahead and let us look at question G. Okay. So question G says you have four pounds and three ounces times six, right? So let's go ahead and we are going to do four pounds, three ounces times six. So let's go ahead, four times six gives me 24, right? And then we have to go ahead and we have to multiply, this is OZ, not 30, okay? Six times three gives me 18. We're not done yet. So I have so far four pounds and 18 ounces, right? Now, one ounce equals, sorry, one pound equals 16 ounces, right? So which means, do I ha still have one ounce in here? That's right. So 18 take away 16 because that would be one pound. We will add our pound to our correct column, which is the pounds column. So I will no longer have, so 60, 18 take away 16 leaves me with two, which means I still had one pound in here. So I'm gonna add my pounds to my pounds and I'm gonna leave my ounces to my ounces. So I had 24 pounds here and I still have one more pound to add, which brings it to 25 pounds and two ounces, okay? 25 pounds and two ounces. So that is our final question for question one. Now let's go and let's look at, so word problems. A bottle holds 1,500 milliliters of water. A bucket holds three times as much water as the bottle. How much water can the bucket hold? So for this question, what do you think we need to do? We have 1,500 of water a bottle in a bottle and a bucket holds three times as much. They want to know how much does the bucket hold. So we are going to multiply again one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. So 1,500 times three because that's much that's how much the bucket holds right. So once we are done multiplying remember your thousands column would show you your liters. So at the end you will remember to write your sentence. So the sentence would be the bucket holds da 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 amount of water. So blank liters, blank milliliters. That will go here. Okay? 
let's go ahead and let's look at our final question for Monday, which is question three. Okay. So a fruit seller packaged all his fruit oranges into six boxes. Each box of oranges weighed 5 kg and 500 grams. What was the total weight of the oranges? So we need to find out what is the total weight of the oranges. And there are, so fruit seller packed his oranges into six boxes, right? Each box weighed 5,000, 5, again, kg, 1 kg equals 1,000, 2 kg, 2,000, 3 kg, 3,000, 5 kg, 5,000, right? So 5,500 times the number of boxes, right? So it's six. So we are going to multiply that and we will find out the total weight of the oranges. Please remember to write your sentence. Okay, and that is our work for Monday, April the 26th for math. And I will see you in our next lesson. Okay, good luck.